we we'll look at part A of question 4. It says the function f with domain a equal 1, 2, 3 is given by f of x is equal to half x minus 3. What is the value of f of 1? Now notice what it says is that f of x f of x is equal to half x minus 3 which means half times x minus 3. Now you want f of 1. What does that mean? Instead of f of x is f of 1. So this you change to 1 and this you also change to 1. So that's f of 1 now. So what you do is say half times 1 minus 3 which becomes half minus 3 which is negative 2 and a half. All right? Half minus 3 is negative 2 and a half. After that, part 2 says, find the value of x for which f of x is negative 2. So you're going to make f of x negative 2 now. So you have f of x is equal to half x minus 3. f of x is negative 2. So this is no longer f of x. It is now negative 2. So negative 2 is equal to half x minus 3. You want x equal. Now, you get rid of the 3. After negative 3 first. Let me rewrite it. I'm going to have half x minus 3 is equal to negative 2. I'm just switching the sides because I know that I'm going to end up with x on the left. So I put x on the left from now. But that's not really necessary. I could work with x on the right. Then I switch it over when I'm finished. So you want x equal. The problem is you have half and you have negative 3 all mixed up with the x. So you need to get rid of these numbers. How to get rid of negative 3? You plus 3. Plus 3. Negative 3 plus 3. That's 0. So you don't have to worry about the 3 anymore. You have half x equal negative 2 plus 3 is what? 1. Half x is equal to 1. Now you have to get rid of the half. Now you could divide by half. Or you could just multiply by 2. 2 by a half is 1. So if I multiply by 2, here, I also multiply by 2. Multiply both sides by 2. Let me continue over here. Half times ha 2. 2 times half is 1. So I have 1x, which is just x, equals 2 times 1 is 2. So x is equal to 2. All right? Now let's look at the third part of this question. An ordered pair for the function is expressed in the form a comma b in brackets. Using your answers to part to a1 and a2 or otherwise, list the ordered pair for the function f. Alright. So you had 1, 2, and 3 as a domain. So you're going to have 1 comma something in another bracket you're going to have 2 comma and something else so when you have 1 put into the function you got out negative 2 and a half alright remember half times 1 is half half minus 3 is negative 2 and a half so it's negative 
two and a half or you could put negative 2.5 i've had negative 2.2 .2 here you could put negative 2.5 here then the other one f of x is negative 2 when x is 2 then f of x is negative 2 so you put negative 2 here remember this is what you put in for x and this is what you get out for f of x it's just that in part 2 you are not given x and then got out f of x you are given f of x to find x so you went the opposite direction but you still got your answer so the ordered pair from part 1 is 1 negative 2 and a half the ordered pair for part 2 is 2 negative 2